Pythagoras theorem is a special relationship that we've got in any right angled triangle. Uh, we can tell this triangle is right angled because this square thing in the corner, that means 90 degrees. 90 degrees is a right angle. So this is a right angled triangle. And in any right angled triangle, Pythagoras theorem um, is true. So we can use Pythagoras theorem. So what Pythagoras theorem says is the two short sides squared, so the square of this and the square of this adds up to this long side squared. So in this case, this number squared, so three squared, um, plus this number squared, four squared, is equal to five squared. So three squared plus four squared is equal to 5 squared. Now, I know this one's true um, because this is a famous right angle triangle. So, um, 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. And this works for any right angle triangle. So, some people call this one A, this one B, and this one C. So, for any right angle triangle, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So the two short ones squared add up to equal the long one squared. So the two short ones squared add up to equal the long one squared. And that relationship is going to work for any right angle triangle. So we can use it to find a missing length. So A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So this is a long one. We can always tell which one the long one is because it's opposite the right angle. So no matter which way, it doesn't matter if they move around the triangle, put it upside down. Um, this is the long one, because it's opposite the right angle. So that's C, that's the long side. So here we're going to work out the long side. So this one's a long side. We're going to work this one out. So we, sh we know the relationship, this one squared, and this one squared is going to equal this one squared. So these two are A and B. Um, it doesn't matter which way round they go. Uh, they can, this can be A, this can be B, this can be B, this can be A. It doesn't matter. Um, so 6 squared plus 8 squared is going to equal out X squared. Uh, 6 squared is 36. 8 squared is 64. And 36 and 64, that's 100. So 100 is equal to X squared. Um, in order to find out what this number is, we have to do a square root. So we have to do the square root of 100. That's the opposite of squaring something. The opposite, the opposite of squaring something is square rooting. And the square root of 100 is 10. So X in this case, the missing side, is 10 centimeters. Okay, here's a different example. Um, you can see this one's a long one, this one, so this one's C. These two are A and B, it doesn't matter which way around they go. Um, let's call them A and B. So this one squared plus this one squared equals this one squared now. So 12 squared plus X squared equals 13 squared. So 12 squared is 144. 13 squared is 169. So 144 plus this number squared equals 169. So we're going to have to take 144 off of both sides of this equation, which is going to leave me with x squared equals 25. And then x is the square root of 25, and that is 5. So in this case, x is 5 centimetres. Okay, so there's three questions here for you to try so give them a go you're going to need a calculator um because these aren't going to give you exact answers like the ones we had before so a squared plus b squared equals c squared so try these questions okay let's look at this first one here um this one's alongside this one here so that's going to be c and these two are a and b um two squared plus 4 squared equals x squared. 4 
plus 16 equals x squared. So 20 equals x squared. So x is the square root of 20. And we're going to have to use a calculator. The square root of 20 to one decimal place is 4.5. So it's 4.5 meters to 1 dp. This one here, so the long one is this one. This one's C. These two are A and B. Either way around, it doesn't matter. So A and B. So now I've got X squared plus 5 squared equals 8 squared. So X squared plus 25 equals 64. So I take the 25 away. Take the 25 away. So X squared equals 39 and then x is the square root of 39 so we write that in the calculator square root of 39 and that gives us 6.2 to 1 dp so 6.2 centimeters to 1 dp and finally here we've got this one c this one's a long one so c these two are A and B, it doesn't matter which way around. So A, B. Uh, we've got 5 squared plus X squared equals 10 squared. So 25 plus X squared equals 100. Take away the 25. So X squared is 75. And then X is the square root of 75. Again, we type down the calculator, square root of 75. It's 8.7 to 1 dp, so 8.7, 8.7 to 1 dp, and that's in centimetres.